When you research copper mail, your pharaoh's hack armor increases from 15% to 27%, so a 12% increase. But when you research bronze mail, the armor only increases by 11%. Is it a glitch? Is it a rounding error? Well, let's try to research iron mail. The armor in this case only increases by 9%. But why? What is happening? Are armory upgrades becoming less effective the higher the tier of the upgrade? Well, that's not quite the case, and we'll prove it in this video. Effective attack. When you see the CP cone fighting the soft light, you'll notice that it doesn't necessarily deal the 10 damage written on the Zenfo. Now, this has to do with more than one factor, like attack speed and bonus damage, but one of the most important factors in this equation is the armor. Armor, in Age of Mythology, acts as a damage reduction factor. So, with a unit like the Hoplite with 35% armor, it basically means that the damage that is reduced is 35% of the attacker's damage, or that the total damage dealt to this unit is 100 minus 35 or 65% of the damage. In other words, that means that the number you see on the screen is not the effective damage dealt, and that this effective damage is dependent on the armor of the opposing unit. Now, this may seem logic, but it's a bit hard to make a model for a specific unit like the Hoplite, because you have to take into account all the different units that could attack the Hoplite, like the Epicon in this example, but it could be a Cyclops, it could be a hero, etc. So, how do we measure the effect of the armor for a specific unit? Well, we can use a mathematical model, and we'll call it effective HP. Depending on how you define the effective HP, its formula may vary. In our definition, it will be the total damage, not effective damage, needed to be dealt to a unit in order to kill it. I will skip the mathematical proof, but I will put on the screen the final formula of the effective HP. The proof will be in the description. Look at this formula. You may notice something weird. The armor is in fact in the denominator. But what does this mean? Well, it means for a fact that armor is not linear. But what is linear? And why does it matter being not linear? Let's take an example of a linear phenomenon. Attack, for example, in Age of Mythology is linear. When you research copper weapons, bronze weapon, and iron weapon, all of them increase the attack by the same number, 10% of the original attack. Phenomenon like that can be represented by a straight line in a graph. If we take a look at this graph, for example, we can see that an increase in the input of a certain amount results in an increase of the output by the same amount. Now, if we were to plot the effective HP, we will notice that it doesn't follow a linear trend. The horizontal axis represents the armor in percentage, and the vertical axis represents an increase in the effective HP. 1 means a 100% increase in the effective HP. If we were to look at the graph, we'll notice an interesting property. An increase in the armor by a certain amount doesn't translate to an increase of the effective HP by the same amount like the linear trend. In fact, as we get closer to 100% of the armor, or 1 in our case, the rest is needed for an increase in the armor for the same increase in the effective HP. And, as armor approaches 100%, it seems that the effective HP tends to infinity. This is what is called in mass a limit. This is why upgrades seem to become less useful the higher the tier, even though they really aren't. If you improve a unit armor from 0 to 50%, as effective HP doubles. To double it even further, you need to reach 75% of the armor, not 100%. Now, if you were to plug 100% in the formula and put it on the calculator, you will get an error. And this is because you can't divide by zero. But AUM cleverly found a solution to this problem, and it is called minimum damage. The effective HP formula that we derived earlier suffers from one major flaw. We only took the effect of the armor. There is many more factors in Age of Mythology, and if we were to derive a true effective HP formula, it would be very complex, having to use even more complicated mathematical models. 
One factor though that is important to consider is minimum damage. A unit, no matter his damage and no matter the opponent armor, will at least deal one attack damage. Even if you were to add a 100% armor to untapple as editor, the slinger will still deal one damage each shot. Our formula of effective HP is still valid for low value of armor, but as it gets closer to 100%, it starts to become a little bit more misleading. This is why Assemble Studio are so great. They encountered for small details like that, and AUM is a very complex game to understand, even a full series of video wouldn't be enough to explain everything. Lastly, let's explain the numbers we saw on the Pharaoh at the beginning of this video. Armory upgrade give a 10% reduction in armor vulnerability for human soldiers and 15% for heroes. So in our case, it's going to be 15. But what is armor vulnerability? Well, it is the denominator of the effective HP we saw earlier, one minus armor. And decreasing the vulnerability increases the effective HP. The Pharaoh at the beginning has a 15% armor or 85% hug vulnerability. A 15% decrease would bring this down to 72.25% or 27.75% vulnerability. Now the number displayed is 27. The GUI of IOM, which displays the information, generally rounds down this number. So there is still a rounding error. Finally, here is a table containing all the information you need about the Pharaoh. You can see the effect of each upgrade on this unit. I hope you enjoyed this video, this one was very hard to make, and if you like the format be sure to tell me, and I will see you next time, take care.